This video features drawings and watercolor art illustrated in time-lapse to match the narration. Illustrations include students studying for tests, sea creatures along the shoreline, tide pools full of wildlife, animals taking an exam, and scientists studying the coast under a sunset. Title, Drawing Connections, Cabrillo National Monument. Can you remember a time when you had to take a really difficult test? If you did well, it's probably because you took excellent notes in class set aside plenty of time to review the material, and maybe even joined a study group. Then again, sometimes we can buckle under stress when it's difficult to know exactly what to review or even find the time to do so. Our experience in the classroom teaches us that good preparation makes all the difference on test day. The Rocky Intertidal Zone at Cabrillo National Monument is one of the most extreme ecosystems on Earth where plants and animals are tested every day. From the crashing waves on the shore at high tide, to the intense wind and sun when the water recedes, this is an environment characterized by stress. If anything is to survive the daily strain of life along the waterline, preparation is essential. Over time, the inhabitants of the rocky inner tidal zone have developed tools and strategies for success. In much the same way our bodies form bones and teeth, Many of these creatures use calcium and carbonate to form protective structures. Some hunker down behind shells and coverings as a stronghold against the elements. Others use claws and spines to help ward off the threat of predators. For many animals living along the coast, the availability of carbonate is absolutely necessary for survival. Today, ocean temperatures and pH levels are affected by increasing atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide. Excess CO2 in the atmosphere drives ocean temperatures higher and, as this excess carbon dioxide is absorbed by the ocean, makes it increasingly acidic. As this occurs, calcium carbonate becomes harder to develop and less available to the marine life that needs it. So, for the inhabitants of the rocky intertidal zone, climate change is a high-stakes test. The warming and acidification of ocean water can stress marine wildlife and harm the ability of sea creatures to create and maintain protective shells. Furthermore, these changes can make it more difficult for organisms to sense danger, locate good habitat, or otherwise adapt to the already stressful conditions on the edge of land and sea. And in some instances, these changes could be happening at a rate faster than animals are able to prepare. Projections tell us some marine life may pass this difficult test, but others could fail. Fortunately, projections are not necessarily predictions. Our efforts to monitor ocean acidification at places like Cabrillo National Monument can help. Collecting data now and studying the impacts of climate change to the ecosystem provides insight into how we might intervene to turn the tide. Science can help guide the actions we take both now and in the future to help preserve our wildlife along the coast. So the question remains, how can we best help the inhabitants of the rocky intertidal zone and ourselves prepare for and pass the high stakes test of climate change? Can you picture it? The words, can you picture it, are drawn inside a picture frame. Credits appear under the National Park Service banner and logo. Illustrations by Converse Sketch, written by Alex Warnicke, Jonathan Jones, and Keith Lombardo. Narrated by Larry Perez, edited by Matt Hawley. Music by Poddington Bear, co-locate.